Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you. Today I'm going to show you um, pretty much how I'm going to do my masks for uh, my 76 Richard Petty. Um, the 72 that I just completed, I was going to do this, but then I kind of decided against it and just freehanded it because the only complex curve on that one was like right here and up front and I just dealt with that but on this one you can see uh, we have multiple complex curves here here up here and I just decided I'm not going to try to freehand this one so what I did was um, I got some of these Tamiya uh, masking sheets um, and then I copied my, um, vermilion decals. What I was going to do was take this and then transfer it to the paper. But then I thought, well, hell, I'll just print it, run a copy right on the paper. So that's what I did. Uh, that's my first copy, the masking side. Um, when you adjust your paper size in, you have to move the decal up on the sheet, and I didn't do that, so it cut it off. What I did is I just put it on the back side, and in thinking about this, although this looks like the driver's side, when, since it's on the reverse side of the mask, this becomes the passenger side, which still works out fine, because if you look at the passenger side, it's pointing forward. Well, actually, this doesn't even matter because I'm not using that. Anyway, so I'll just reverse this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. I'm just going to do the hood for you for right now to show how I'm going to do my masks. And I've got a brand new blade in my scalpel uh, when I'm doing decals and uh, very fine, intricate work. I like to use my scalpels. Uh, you can get these scalpel handles on Amazon. Same with the scalpel blades. Uh, they're not that expensive. And for an extra sharp um, knife, they're very nice. So whenever I can, um, I want to use a straight edge to be able to cut this. So... Let me... Sorry, let me get my camera adjusted to where you can see it better as to what I'm doing. But the less I have to freehand, because uh, believe me, I am no artist. So anytime I don't have to freehand something, I won't. Just nice and slow, not running any race. Um, and this way you make sure you're not climbing up on your um, on your masking sheet or your ruler, I mean. This one's got a little curve, so I'm gonna have to kind of do that one freehand. You can see that pops up and these are small enough lines that I'm not really worried about going too far off on that so I can go ahead and cut those two small lines where where I'm gonna have the issue is being that uh, I'm not an artiste and I don't have a steady hand is that line's going to be a little crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it wide. And then, although my scissors are not near as sharp as my knife, this way I can, at the very least, 
get right on it. And I found, there we go. And I found on my last car that with the white pen striping that you have to put on afterwards, the uh, great thing is a little bit of Mr. Mark setter, you can, uh, you can really get it to uh, do exactly what you want. So now I'm just going to kind of get a get a visual of where I want that mask at. And you'll see it'll just kind of go right on there. Just like that. And two, if you want to um, hope I can do this while you, while you can see it a little bit. Um, what I'm doing is lining up lining that up and I'm just going to put a little pencil mark right there and a pencil mark right there I don't know if you can even see those pencil marks right there and right there but that really just tells me on one side where where I need to line it up at. So, and then at this point, and I don't want to peel the whole thing right away. So kind of lining up that base end Please. And I think I got lucky enough to get it right where I wanted it the first time. And then that's it. I'm going to press it down good. So now when I spray it, boom, we're, we're golden. And if you can see, I've got just a little overhang on each side. If you look up here, eh, actually I'm off just a little bit on this side. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm, well, yeah, I guess I am. Let me see if I can move that over just a touch without, no, unless I wanted to reposition this whole thing, it is where it is, so, but anyway, that's the uh, gist of it, I'm going to uh, cut out one of these sides while I'm, uh, while I'm on here, and basically, again, I'm going to mark that so I don't go crazy on cutting through. This bottom line is is uh, straight. So instead of cutting that out with scissors, I figured what the heck. Anytime I can cut with a nice sharp blade, I would rather do that. And remember, with Microset and Microsol, or, yeah, Microset and Microsol, or Mr. Mark Softer and Mr. Mark Setter, when you go to put on your lines, you can soften them and manipulate them. Like on, when I go to put the decals on, I will cut this small piece out this cell. If this white outline decal is say in eight pieces I will cut it up into probably double that and just overlap and do that myself um, so again 
any straight lines. And I can go back and trim this up once I get everything cut. Yeah, there's another little straight one on the front. And I'm gonna start that one right at the top of the wheel well and come down. And then the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Get right in that line medium pressure remember you got a nice new blade so and then that's done there all the way back to that wheel well so i'm going to do the same thing i start right in the center give me my starting point and the reason why i'm doing this it's just more control of how i can move my arm in my hand because there's no way I'm going to be able to kind of turn it this way and come all the way around like this so if all I have to do with holding my hand like this I can easily turn that corner while I'm turning the decal paper that's all in the same way with going this way I'm only doing like a quarter turn instead if that makes sense all right, coming around the band, boom. And then you can see I've got a little bit of overhang. I will trim that with the scissors when I get there. This front piece is not, I've got a little tiny straight piece from about here to here. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna do this corner up to about here. I'm gonna stop and turn the paper and then I'll finish that line. There, just like that. So, I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off my sheet. And then I will do this last piece with the scissors. And actually, if I can get it going from this side, I can see my cutting line better. But you can see the cutting lines on my cutting hand side. If you're a right hand doing it this way, you'd want the cutting line on this side so you can see it as you're cutting it. And these scissors, as you can see, I use these for decals only. These are paper only scissors. Uh, they never touch anything else. No plastic, no metal, no hard tubing, nothing like that. So I have just a nice sharp. So, so okay, so here we go. That one's cut out. Remember, this is reverse because I screwed up copying it. Um, normally, that would go on this side. But since this is a masking, um, what we're going to do is go down this side. Since these are really the definitive uh, pieces right here. And that doesn't even fit in there. This is the, well, that's funny. That's hilarious. 
This is the mask for from Salvino's for Salvino's kits and the um, Vermilion Deeth cows don't even fit. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this thing right in half. And what I will do is I will put the front one on first. And that goes all the way down to the bottom. And that goes right there. Yeah, see, that doesn't even fit the wheel well. Wow. I'm surprised. That's kind of got me baffled. That doesn't even make sense. Um, so anyway, I will get this all lined up. Um, it looks like this needs to be adjusted. From right about there. We'll get that lined up. There we go. Yeah, that fits right about there. That'll do it. Now, on my decals, what I have to, and I'm going to have to measure this out because these Lobo decals are different. But what I have to, you can see where that little cleft line is there. What I'm going to have to do is make sure that my lines add, uh, they don't exceed this on the front. Because there has to be a certain amount of distance on the nose um, to be able to put that eagle on there. So, and that's that's just my main concern out of anything is getting getting this thing correct. So that's about it. Uh, I'll get that all figured out and lined up. Uh, it looks like these are a little square, but like I was saying, I will cut this square out right here, and I'll make this Z one piece. So. Once I mask it off and paint it, that will just go on right there. I'll let that dry good, and then I'll put the bottom line here. And then this will run right into the wheel well, so I won't have to worry about that. But that gets this lined up without having to try to worry about this long white piece. And the same with the rear. I will do the same with that. I will cut this piece off right here install it on the back wheel well and then i'll worry about getting this line here straight on the charger so i hope that helps you out if you're doing any oddball masks uh, i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this max masked up and i'll show you how it comes out all right thanks guys stay safe be blessed have a great day